amazing friends. Okay, Thanksgiving break is right around the corner. So excited for the turkey and the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. I'm especially excited for the mashed potatoes. All right, but before we can do Thanksgiving, we've got to show what we know in our double digit, our two digit subtraction unit that we've been working really, really hard on. Okay, so this week you finished up your unit with the real world problem solving. You learned how to solve one step problems where you just had to find one thing out and answer the question. And then you learned how to solve two step problems where you might have had to add something and then subtract something. Or you might have had to subtract something two times. If you needed help, you were supposed to come to the math meets. Miss Sanchez and I are here for you. I know subtraction is not that easy. I know addition's a lot easier. It is what it is. We are here to help. That being said, this is your unit three math test instruction video. Pay attention because you're gonna do a lot more work than you have to if you don't pay attention. You're going to take test A. I'm gonna read the directions to you. You're going to choose one strategy. Two strategies? No. Three strategies? No. One strategy? Yes. Choose your favorite strategy for subtraction. Open number line, place value chart, traditional method, break apart method, number bond. You get to pick. What are you the best at? What made the most sense in your brain? You're gonna answer a question. So the first question says, Sam bought a box of 95 Legos at the store. He used 45 Legos to make an airplane. How many Legos are left? You can do traditional method. You can do place value method. You can do the open number line with your jumps. You can do your hundreds chart. And you can actually, in your hundreds chart, if you're doing it on the computer, make little dots so you can keep track of where you're going. You can do the break apart method. Remember, it's tens and ones. Not a whole bunch of other kinds of numbers that I'm seeing when we're turning in our work. Then you have a second question. Pick a strategy that you're really good at. One strategy. Two strategies? No. All of the strategies? No. One strategy. Jimmy has 56 books on his bookshelf. He read 28 of the books. How many books does he have left to read? Think about the question. Choose one strategy. Traditional method. Place value chart. Open number line. Hundreds chart. You can put your dots or X's or whatever you want to keep track of where you're at. You can do your number bond. Choose the strategy that makes sense in your brain. Okay. Then you've got our school made 87 bags of popcorn to sell. They sold 23 bags at the first lunch wave and 38 bags at the second lunch wave. Ooh. How many bags of popcorn did they sell during the first two lunch waves? How many bags of popcorn are left? You've got a two-step problem to solve. Complete the boxes. What question was I asked? What question was I asked? Question one and question two. What's the equation for question one? What's your strategy? What's the equation for question two? What's your strategy? Then what is your solution? What's your answer? Your last page is going to be what strategy did you choose? Subtraction strategy number one, subtraction strategy number two. Hundreds chart, open number line, break apart tens and ones, place value chart, traditional algorithm. Hundreds chart, open number line, number bond, place value chart, traditional algorithm. Check off one of the subtraction strategies listed above. Explain how you used your strategy to solve problem number one. So problem number one was Sam and his Legos. Which one did you choose? Check off the strategy you chose and then tell me how you did that. 
for question number two. All about Jimmy and the books he read or didn't read yet. Which strategy did you choose? Check it off, tell me about it, okay? Those are the directions for your test. It is four pages. Make sure you complete all four pages. Everything in the test is editable. You can click on boxes everywhere in this test. Show your work. Choose one strategy for problems number one and two. Not all of them. Choose your best one. What are you doing really well at and you wanna show off? Show what you know. As always, do your best. If you don't understand these directions, I will be available Thursday at noon to go over anything that you might not understand. I can't help you with your test because this is you showing me what you know, but I can help you with how to do it and how to get to it, okay? All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you soon.